I don't tell to my kids that they are inferior to any other kids. They are the same. It's just the difference is that they were born to a foreign worker mother. This is the only country that my kids know. And I think they belong here in Israel. Hi, I'm Sharon Austria. I work as a caretaker here in Israel. I have two children, one 14 years old and one eight years old. I finished my degree in Philippines as a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. I came here in Israel in January 2003 at the age of 23. This is me and my father. The night before I left my hometown in Philippines, this is the last time that I saw my father. My father passed away last year, 2010. I have a job offer from an agency in the Philippines that I need to pay $4,500 just to be able to come here in Israel. First of all, I didn't plan that I will stay here for a long time. I thought two years maximum just to to pay the manpower repeat and after that to, to save some money and that's it I am going back home I didn't plan to to have a child here when you arrive here in Israel the Israeli government forbids you to have a baby to have a children here in in Israel but they have to to remember that we are human we are not robots we have to to have our basic needs we have to be loved and to love somebody and to have a partner in life. I work 24-7 and I earn like $800 in a month. And during those times, it's the minimum wage for the caregiver. And every time the family asks me to stay every Shabbat, they don't want me to go out for a day off. You know, it was, it was not easy. Some of the caregivers, the family are asking them to even clean for the children's apartment, to babysit for the grandchildren, and it's not part of the working condition. It, it was very hard. For 10 years, I took care of an old couple who lives here in Tel Aviv and they passed away last 2013, so I lose my permit. If the employer dies, you lose the visa, they are ordering you to go home, to go back to your country. But I decided to stay here in Israel because my kids were born here. They are all Israelis at heart. They go to the Israeli education system. They speak only Hebrew and English, and they're doing what the Israeli kids are doing. I cannot just uproot them. This is the only country that they know. That's why now we are staying here as illegal. My, my kids doesn't have any chudadziut. It's very hard for us to be undocumented. You have to be aware of your surroundings. Every time I go out to the street and before going to my work, I have to look left and right, back and forth. And I have to remind my children that they have to be very careful in going to school because maybe the immigration are after them. There are all sleepless nights, especially in 2019 when all the arrests started. The immigration police are, of course, racial for filing us. They can see it from the color itself that we are not white, we are brown. That's the reality. They come with a van. Whenever they see you on the street, they ask you where's your passport. And if they see that you don't have any visa, they take you, even together with the child. Because I don't have the visa anymore, I have to play hide and seek with the immigration. I went to 15 different houses for a span of six months 
And my kids, I can see from them that they are very afraid. Aside from not going outside, we are not also able to visit any other countries because the kids won't be able to come back here anymore. It's like a holy imprisonment. There is no public awareness regarding our struggle. So in 2018, we built an organization together with some of the mothers. It's called United Children of Israel. It's composed of mothers and fathers that fights against the deportation and arrest of children here in Israel. We did a lot of things. We did demonstration to fight against the deportation. We even reached out to the president. We went to the Knesset to do lobbying. But we cannot say that we are successful in this fight, in this struggle, because uh, we have one boy who got deported in Philippines named Rohan. And we have the waves of arrest, like I have told you, it's like 25 families who were put in prison together with kids. We are talking about a 15-year-old kid and a baby sleeping in the prison for a couple of nights some are for a couple of weeks, and it's very unbearable for us to see this kind of situation. And the Israeli government are so blind to see the trauma that they bring to the Israelis, Israeli children that we have. So I think the Israeli government should have a better immigration policy to those workers who come here in Israel. Nobody will do the job that we are doing for 24-7. Nobody. No Israelis will do that. If it's wrong to have kids in this country, I'd rather be wrong. But I will continue fighting for them.